Hi guys, this is Elise and I have a project share video this morning. I have um, a challenge that I worked on for my First Friday group and I also have a few cards that I made. So this month for First Friday, which is um, a crop group that I go to, we were to um, create something that included glass, metal, and was Christmassy. Well, I kind of forgot about the Christmassy part, but later on I'll Christmas make this more Christmas like but this is what I did I made a couple of jars and I wanted to make some jars to house these beautiful um, sprays that I got from uh, downtown LA and so this is the first one that I made and I think it turned out really pretty and I can still change that tag and make it say Merry Christmas or you know whatever I wanted so this is gonna go on my new work table and so that's the first one that I made. And so here's my glass jar, and I've got a little metal piece here, the little bow, and there's my paper. And it also had to include paper. So there's my tag there. And then the second one, I didn't use this one for the challenge, but I wanted to make one to house my white sprays, which I don't have very many. I think I only have two. Well, yeah, there's only two in there. But this one houses my, my white sprays, and this is what it looks like. And it turned out really pretty. And I actually used about three coats of acrylic paint on both of these jars so um, and then I just took my um, my um, sandpaper and sanded it down a bit so I think they turn out really pretty and they look really pretty actually sitting over on my table so those are the first two things I wanted to share with you and then secondly I made some cards and I think they turn out really pretty I just made some shabby cards and I actually was able to make three cards last night one card I made a couple days ago but here's the first one I made this one a few days ago and I wanted to incorporate some things that I've been wanting to use, like my mason jar um, die. I wanted to finally use one of those on a card. So this is the card that I made. And I used some of my mind's eye paper. And here's one of my pretty rosettes that I uh, made. And look how sparkly that is and glittery. I love it. And a few people have asked me about the glitter that I use. And it's actually the uh, Createology glitter that you get at Michael's in the kitty section. And you get a big jar for like $5 and some change. And with a coupon, you can get it for less than that. So um, it is very glittery, guys. And if you want, you can spray it with some um, glitter sealer, if you like, just so that it doesn't fall off. Um, but I just love the way it looks. So there's my first card, and then there's the inside. And I love those colors together. So that's my first card. The second card, these are some of the ones that I made. These are the cards that I made last night. And here's my second card. And this one I used um, this uh, Sizzix die. I love the Sizzix die. It's the um, the hanger with the like the um, kind of like the not the top note shape, but it's this an ornate ornate shape hanging. And I just made some flowers. Put some flowers here. I put this little flower here and one here on the side and this pretty um, flower in the middle. That's a wild orchid crafts flower. And then I put a piece of one of these pink sprays and then I just used some scrap corrugated board that I had and uh, made these two little hearts and just swiped those with some cream color paint and then I just put a sentiment and some of this pretty um, dainty little lace that I got from craft supplies one so there's one card and then the inside I just did that in the inside and then here's my next card and I think this one turned out really pretty as well. I love this lace right here. And this is some London Market paper that I stacked. Um, there's a piece here, and then there's a white piece, and then there's uh, this piece on top. And so there's three layers. And I, of course, I stickled everything. Now this piece right here, I fussy cut. And this is from the um, Kaiser Craft Needle and Thread collection. And I just love the way it goes perfectly with with the um, London Market paper. So I use that, and then. I just cut out um, this shape here. Um, I actually used a uh, punch and just like put the edge of this paper in the punch to get that little that little punch there. And then this is one of my embellishments that I made with one of the metal pieces from Craft Supplies One. And there's a little cute little butterfly that I had in my stash. And I think it turned out really pretty. And then there's the inside. I just put a piece of the London Market paper in the inside. And of course, I put paper on the backs of all my cards. So there's the other one. And then this one, this one I used some Lyric paper. And I've been really trying to use the paper that I have in my stash. Um, <clears throat> so I used, I pulled up my Lyrics paper. And I um, triple layered this one as well. And then I 
fussy cut this piece right here and it's popped up on there and then there's a piece of really pretty lace behind it all which you can barely see now and then I put this little cluster of flowers here I think they look so pretty and of course I had to stickle them and I put this bling piece with some seam binding and I used one of my little ballet girls there and I think that turned out really really pretty and then I just put one of the pieces from the collection um, from that 6x6 six six paper pad so that's the lyric collection and so those are my cards that I made and my jars that I altered and um, I hope you guys have a great weekend and leave some comments if you like and thanks for watching bye